Hello, my name is Josiah Ray. I'm going to show you how to make a set of talking lips using the pen tool in Adobe After Effects. Uh, this can be handy for doing one of those stylized like jazz music intros to a movie or something like that. I've seen some similar style in a couple of movies I've seen recently, so let's take a quick look. Here we've got our set of lips, and if uh, we move back and forth, you can see that they, they kind of animate like they're talking. You'd want to be a lot more detailed with the animation, match it to whatever music you're using or what have you. Um, but you can see being on a black background with a very, uh, very flat color, it does give a heavily stylized look to them. So to recreate this, it's all contained in one layer. I'm going to turn that off for a moment. And I'll create a new layer by holding down Control and pressing Y. And we'll set this to the color of our lips, just a very bright red. Okay. So the first step is to make the shape of the lips. Where you can run into trouble is if you make the lips closed. You want to make the lips open a little bit because of how you can animate them. Um, if you make them closed, it's going to be very difficult to open them, but if they're open, it's easier to close them. So let's draw the top set first. Start in the corner of the mouth, go up a little bit, down in the middle, back up. Very, very, very rough. And we'll do that. Okay, so we have our top lip. Now we'll make our bottom lip. Again, remembering that we want to stay away from the top lip a little bit. We'll grab the pen tool again. We'll start to draw. To start a little bit outside of it because it wants to delete the previous mask. And we'll keep it down a little. Hit the corners, make those lips a little more full. There we go. And now we can move that corner back in a little. So, these two are going to be animated separately of each other using what's called the puppet tool. Uh, this will create a mesh for each individual mask so that you can animate the lips separately. And let's go ahead and I'm going to grab that puppet tool. It's just this little pin in the upper right. And we'll mark it out. And you can mark out uh, what you'd really want is four points, maybe five points, to really get all of the, uh, the proper embouchure for words and things like that. I'm going to stick to just three, just for an opening closing motion. So you pin the corner, I'm going to pin the middle, and you pin the far corner. And I'm going to do the same thing, I'm going to deselect it, do the same thing here. And you see it highlights the bottom lip, so let's go ahead and hit it. Okay, so. What we'll do is we'll open it up underneath Effects, Puppet, and you see we have two meshes here. So we'll grab Mesh 2 and open up Deform. And as you click on the pins, it will highlight which pin you're looking at, which is really handy so you know which one you're animating. And we'll grab Pin 2. So let's go ahead and close the lips up. You see now that they're open, it's easier to close them. It's very difficult to close separate lips, excuse me, draw separate lips closed using the pen tool. So you want to start open first. And we'll close these down just a little bit. And underneath the puppet pin, it automatically animates for you or puts the animation option on. So we'll go ahead and we'll leave the uh, stopwatch on. Move forward a little bit of time. We'll open that up. And we'll leave the first keyframe where it's at. We're kind of in the middle of the composition time. So we'll open the, uh, open the lips, go to the end of it, and I'm just going to copy and paste that first keyframe. So they open and close. It's a very mechanical motion, kind of like a, uh, a chomping machine or one of those nutcracker soldiers. But that's the fastest way to make lips using the pen tool in Adobe After Effects. I'm Josiah Ray.